I just want to say at the start of this, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I wouldn't use this as a how-to. In case you're wondering, I looked at a bunch of videos and read articles online. That's how I figured out how to do this. Uh, if you want to steal some of my ideas, that's fine. You know, go for it. But I would do your research, do your homework before you start this because I feel like it's potentially dangerous. <laughs> so that being said, check it out. What's up guys? Um, about to set up the electrolysis for removing all the rust off this grenade piece, but I wanted to show you guys uh, the progress so far. Um, this is all cleaned up now. It spins freely, comes off if I so want. Screws and threads all the way down so it sits just below flush on both ends. Actually, the bottom is just flush where it's supposed to be, and this is just below flush where it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with that, but now I need to deal with the rust. So um, to do that, I'm going to do electrolysis. Um, I have my sacrificial metal. I got the Arm & Hammer washing soda car charger. I've got some other wires for uh, linking my sacrificial metal together. And uh, I have a fly swatter, which is going to be my hanging hook. Um, and I got a couple zip ties because that's how I'm going to attach the, uh, the <clears throat> rebar to the bucket. And the bucket, actually the uh, camera is sitting on top of the bucket right now. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get to it. Add a second hole to each. Pay attention this time. Here it is as it sits. I just have the two on the other side. On the side, I can still use the handle. Kind of the design I'm doing. So if I gotta pick it up and move it, I can. I'll just dangle the grenade about here. So it'll have one from each side. And it's not very big, so I don't think I'm gonna fill it all the way up. I'm just gonna do a couple gallons of water, probably about half of this. About half of this, so about two and a half gallons. This is a five gallon bucket, so about halfway. And uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, now I'm gonna cut a length of wire to run from here to here. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna solder it on. And then that way I can just attach the, uh, the car battery to one side and it runs the current to the other side. Um, and then I will be setting up my hook to hang the grenade from down in the center from a piece of wood that goes across the top. Okay, here we go. I've got a piece of wire. I'm just going to attach it about like so. Maybe I'll shorten that up a little bit. Um, and cut a bit off because I don't want too much hanging out. I don't want to snag on things if I do decide to move it. So I'm going to cut off about that much. And then I need to get it three. Okay, time to solder. 
So I don't know where my extinction cord is. I can't find it anywhere. Uh, so I'm moving my operations to the floor um, by the outlet. Now I don't have to hold them all the time. Let's see. Pow. I don't think this is gonna work too well. Soldering skills are not the greatest. All right, so soldering didn't work, um, obviously. Um, I think now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna drill a hole through and I'll run the wire through and just bend it down and that should be enough connection. Um, I will try to get a hole that's not too big so it's a fairly tight fit and we'll see how that goes. So, gonna drill holes, drill press time. Boom, there it is. And good enough. There. I can just fold that down on the end and it will stay. One more hole to drill. I have never had a day of metal shop class. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Boom, number two. Did not mean that to be a pun. <laughs> Hole number two, woo, yes. Boom, through, perfect. All right, now I gotta put the rebar back in the bucket because I cut it out. Zip ties. Let's do this again. Last time, I swear it. This time, we have holes and we can attach our wire. Let's see if I can do this right the first time. That will be a neat trick.
That's it. Now I just need to get something to put across the top so I can dangle the fly swatter with a grenade on it. And that's pretty much it. It'll be ready to go. Ta-da! All right, now I need to make my little dangling hook. Uh, for that, I'm sacrificing a fly swatter because it costs nearly nothing. Um, gonna cut off the little flappy bit and uh, then I'm gonna hit it with some uh, wire wool to rough up the surface in case there's some sort of coating on it. Um, that way it can conduct electricity. Okay. Watch me cut my finger off. Boom. Got the bucket. Don't need, don't need that, and that. So, do I want to try to run those guys through and then hook it like that? Spin these up. I'll try that. Why not? I can dangle. Maybe I'll do this. Perfect. <laughs> that actually is pretty perfect. I think I'm ready to start. What do you guys think? Works pretty well, I think. And I can still pick the whole thing up. When it's full of water, it should bounce out a little bit better.